Hey everyone, this is Louis Lazarus, and I'm just going to give you a quick little demonstration of what this tool, Animation Fill Code, actually does. So let's say you're working on uh, some CSS3 keyframe animation code here in your CSS file. You have your uh, regular CSS code up near the top here, and then in the middle of your file somewhere you've got uh, keyframe animation code. So we he see here we've been developing our code in WebKit in Chrome or Safari. And so we have only the WebKit syntax there. Then we have our uh, keyframes at rule here with all the keyframes for our first animation identified by the name my animation. And then we have a second animation identified here with my animation 2 with all of its uh, code along with that and then the second set of keyframes down here at the bottom and then we have some other uh, just generic uh, CSS at the bottom of our file here. So what we'll do is after we finished uh, debugging our code and getting it to look the way we want in WebKit, of course we want to duplicate the code so that we have the supporting vendor prefixes for the other browsers as well, which right now include uh, Firefox and IE10. So we'll select all of our code, we'll copy it, including all the CSS that comes before and after. That's not necessary, but you can do that if you want. We'll paste it right here into our tool, and you'll notice we see here the, the size of the scroll bar indicates how much text we have. So you can keep uh, an eye on that as we press the button here. So it's f the button is called Fill My Animation Code, so we click on that button, and then we have our code filled. We see a message that displayed up here that says your animation code has been filled. We can click to select the text and we can see that our scroll bar has now shrunk because we have quite a bit of code in here now. So we'll copy that code and we'll bring it back into our text editor and replace our existing code. And of course, if you're doing this, I would highly recommend that you have a backup. If you're using version control, then that's obviously you'd want to commit your code before you did this. But we'll come in here and we'll replace what we had before. And then if we examine the code, we'll notice that, first of all, the regular CSS is still intact. But now when we go to our animation code, the WebKit chunk is still there and that has now been duplicated. So we have our Firefox code here in the second chunk, the Microsoft code here with the vendor prefixes for IE 10 Platform Preview 3. That's when IE has begun support. And finally we have the standard syntax. The standard syntax does not work in any browser as of this moment, but uh, it's generally good practice to have it here listed last, but you could run into problems in the future if you have this. For example, if the implementation changes when the standard becomes official standard and browsers support it, um, then your old animations may not play or look exactly the way you want. So you'd have to think about whether or not you want to have that in there. Um, it probably doesn't hurt to remove it and it might be actually better that way in this particular case. And so if we scroll down a bit we'll see that we have the WebKit keyframes still intact and those have been duplicated as well. We have a Mozilla set of keyframes, uh, IE 10 set of keyframes, and finally the standard syntax keyframes. And then we have our second animation and the exact same thing has happened there. All of the code has been duplicated and it, I've programmed the tool to uh, have a gap in between the vendor prefix stuff so you can kind of see the different sections there easily. I like it that way. I don't know, maybe you can uh, suggest a better way to do it. Here we have as well the second one or second set of keyframes for WebKit and finally we've duplicated the that set of keyframes for Mozilla, for IE10 and the standard syntax. And then we have the final set of CSS rules that we declared that are also still intact. So that's basically how the tool works and I hope it uh, helps you with your development.